Um, hi. <laughs> Sorry, uh, this is the second time I've recorded this. Hopefully it's going to be shorter. Uh, I, last time I recorded this was 19 minutes long, and the footage ended up being corrupt, so I couldn't edit it, and I just kind of figured it out now when I started editing. So, unfortunately, I was going to get my uh, dress clothes on, but, um, they're kind of a pain to put on. I mean, not as much of a pain as I imagine a dress would be to put on, but, I mean, like, still, for guys' clothes, are a pain to put on. Uh, and this is a video that's in response to some ace phobia that I got. Uh, phobia. Not so much phobia, but just general hatred towards asexuality. On, uh, I got it anonymously on Ask FM or Ask, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm just going to get straight into the questions and hopefully, uh, Hopefully get through a half decent response to them uh, a little bit later. So first question: How can you be asexual? I bet you get off to straight porn every night, but claim to be the special snowflake of a gender. Okay, this is stupid because a gender is completely different from a sexuality. Okay, I'm not gonna go into many details or try not to, and if I do, I'm just gonna edit them out. I don't get off to straight porn every night. I don't watch porn personally. Some people might, but I don't. I'm not sex repulsed, but honestly, why would I? I don't get pleasure out of that sort of stuff. I don't see why I would need to. Um, how can I be asexual? I don't know. I've just always been. I, I've just never been attracted to someone based like with the end goal of having sex with them or even any sort of goal whatsoever of having sex with them that's just not the thing with me um, next question there's three questions in this and they're all really stupid um, after that I got a pretty nice question actually it's called I like a boy what do I do um, I'm not even gonna give a response to that it doesn't really matter you like a guy okay you like a guy Question two, that video you linked is basically a Tumblrina trying to make themselves feel different or special with this asexual thing. You've just had no meaningful female interaction all this time and try to label yourself with this false sexuality. Five to ten years from now, you will regret this. No, I've never felt the need to have sex with someone. That's, like, that's just me. Some people who are asexual now might have previously, but then kind of didn't, but I've just honestly never done. I, I never like even considered it. Like I tried to think about it once because I thought there was something wrong with me and that just ended up with me kind of disgusting myself. That that pretty much what happened. Uh, question three. Lying to yourself isn't helping anyone. You have desensitized yourself to the point where you never feel the need to engage in sexual intercourse, which is a quote from my previous answer. It's in our instinct to feel these things, and you're just denying it. I don't know if you think it's cool or something, but it's all kinds of stupid. Okay, I'm not doing this because it's cool. I'm not asexual because it's cool. I'm not... I don't... I highly doubt anyone is unorientation because it's cool, and if they are... They're probably just bullshitting about that. And honestly, the amount of hate that people who are queer tend to get, and by the way, I don't use that term as an insult because I use it more about myself and my friends who also use it about themselves and me and their other friends. Like, people who are queer, they get more hate simply for liking different people or not liking different people. Like, for no reason. There's no reason to hate people because of their orientation. There really, really isn't. It's pretty damn stupid, and I think that people who hate... Like, for example, the Westboro Baptist Church, you... Like, they hate gays because it's... Like, it, it says stuff against it in the Bible. It says... I'm not that um, good at quoting scripture... One, a couple of my friends are, but that's because they have uber-Christian parents or something like that. 
but I'm pretty sure the Bible only mentions it once or twice in one or two lines or paragraphs or something, and that is it. And I'm pretty damn sure love thy neighbor is more important than fuck that guy, he's gay. I mean, that simple. Be nice to those guys simply because they're human beings just like you, or hate them because they just happen to like someone of the same gender as them. Take your pick. I mean, and kind of think about it, asexuality isn't that hard of a concept to grasp. Okay, if you can understand how heterosexuality works, pretty sure you can understand asexuality. It doesn't have anything to do with not liking people. That's, like, nothing. I have friends. I did have crushes. I just haven't in a while. Haven't developed a crush in a while, come to think of it. Uh, but, like, I still like people. Not necessarily because of any sexual organs, primary or secondary. But, like, I, I don't know how I can say this. This is just stupid, these questions. <sighs> like, there's different types of orientation, not just sexual. And this guy is thinking that, like, I feel nothing because I'm asexual, which is wrong. I feel, I, I, I feel love for people, just not in the conventional sense, really. Conventional sense is in I want to date them and then marry them and then ma date them, marry them, and fuck them, not necessarily in that order. Not everyone does. Okay? And, like, this is really personal to say, and I'm kind of I'm probably going to edit this out, but the only reason that I haven't asked someone out or tried really that hard to be in a relationship is because I don't think I would be good enough to them, whoever they are, whatever gender they identify as, right? I don't think I would be good enough to them, or I would, like, make them happy. And I guess, in a lot of cases, that's what's more important to me in a relationship, whether it be family or friend, I want to make the other person happy. Not, like, I don't want to sacrifice everything to do that, but I do want to make people happy, and I don't think that I can be that close to someone and, like, stand the pain of not making them happy, because that hurts for me. Okay. That's basically it. Uh, I linked in... Uh, in the, my first response, I linked uh, Amelia Ace's channel and her video, Tiny Little Explanation on Asexuality. Um, it's pretty great. She did a great job, and that's what the anonymous assholes meant by uh, Tumblrina. Funnily enough, uh, Amelia, or Melly, actually does have Tumblr, right? How would you know, I wonder, I wonder, did you actually look at the channel? Did you actually spend time on her channel to figure out what would hurt the most? Dude, I appreciate the effort you put into making other people feel fucking terrible. Sorry about the slightly long-winded video, but it's a hell of a lot better than the last one. Bye, guys. Click.